Hi, this is Drew uh, from Northridge Community Church. Uh, we have some amplifiers here that have not been cleaned in uh, years, and I mean years. We actually had one of them uh, go out uh, on us and start having a bunch of crosstalk and sound uh, in the amplifier when nothing was going through. Um, so uh, we opened it up and found that it was very, very dirty. Uh, one thing that not too many people know is dust is conductive. Uh, so, anyway, you can't really see in there right now, but it is very dirty. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, correct and clean out uh, one of these amps. Um, and the tools that we're going to be using is uh, just some screwdrivers, uh, just some normal uh, spray can of air, or an air compressor is, is a lot better if you have an air compressor. And then this uh, spray-on uh, electrical contact cleaner, EL2302. Um, now the, the thing about this is this is safe for uh, printed circuits, uh, relays and switches, vacuum tubes. Uh, my favorite is hydraulic and missile fuel systems. Uh, also satellite communication, radar equipment. Basically you can spray this on uh, on pretty much anything uh, electronic and clean it. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean off the circuit board with that and then we're going to be using this to clean off the uh, heat sinks and the fans. So grab your handy dandy screwdriver and uh, on this particular amplifier the uh, top is able to be removed. So we go ahead and remove all the screws uh, on the outside. Uh, there's two in the back here and then there's three more on this side of the rail and then there's six going across the top there and then there's one big honking screw uh, right there. Once that is done then we go ahead and gently lift this off and we can set this to the side and here is uh, the inside of a uh, CA6 uh, Crest Audio Amplifier but you can see down here there's a whole bunch of dust uh, all within here and then all over the circuit boards. Uh, this is a really dirty amp. Uh, I don't think this thing has been cleaned for uh, a couple years. Um, so uh, basically um, what we do is we go ahead and grab our compressed air. And I'm going to put the little straw in there real quick. And with the fans, what I like to do is take a screwdriver and place it right there so the fan won't move. And then just take your candle clean that puppy out. And then also you'll want to go d all the way down uh, inside all of your air fins for the heat sink. So all the heat sink you'll want to go down and clean off all of that. And then make sure you get the back side of the fan too because even just blowing on the front won't get all of that fan clean. So here we go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and move to the other side here. So take my little screwdriver, place it right there in that fan, and and it's really, the best way to do this is to have a couple cans of air, that way, you know, um, <laughs> you don't freeze up a can like I'm doing right now. So once you get the majority of all of the uh, main stuff out of there, you can take this can and I'm going to stop the video and show you guys here in a second on how to use this stuff. So uh, I'll catch you in one second. All right, so we're now onto the portion where we're using the uh, electrical contact cleaner. Um, and so this side I have already cleaned and I just kind of wanted to show you guys the difference here. Um, so we can see that there's not really much dust in here and then all of the uh, all the components are really nice and clean um, down here all the dust is gone from down in there and then on this side um, a little harder to see but there's still a bunch of dust down in here the components are dirty um, especially if you can look down in there and see some of those transistors and capacitors and whatnot um, so all that stuff is still dirty so what we do grab this and we just spray it very thoroughly on uh, on everything uh, so we just just lay it on there and 
And then when you get this, uh, these uh, potentiometers up in the front, um, make sure you spray them and then rotate the knobs. Um, that way it'll clean out the pots. Yeah. So you can see the back of the pot right there. When you, uh, when you turn it, you'll see the little wiper move. Oh, well, let's get a focus here. There we go. So you can see the little wiper go back and forth there. Kind of neat. There you go. So um, once you have thoroughly sprayed uh, your amp, you've pretty much used up an entire can on, on one amp is, is pretty much the way it goes. Uh, once that's done, you want to go ahead and tilt this puppy up and let all that fluid drain out. Um, and just let it, let it dry. Um, and once it is dry, uh, go ahead and button everything back up and uh, put it back in your rack and your amp is now clean. So if you have any questions, feel free to post below, but that is a quick and easy tutorial on how to uh, clean your amplifier. And I will give you a, uh, a link uh, and description on the uh, electrical cleaner that I am using that is safe for uh, PCB boards and plastic and everything. So uh, thank you and have a great day.